The Gospel According to Luke, Chapter 5. And it came to pass, that, as the people pressed on him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Genesaret. And saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them, and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down, and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out into the deep, and let down your nets for a draught. And Simon answering said to him, Master, we have toiled all the night, and have taken nothing, nevertheless at your word I will let down the net. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their net broke. And they beckoned to their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came, and filled both the ships, so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him, at the draught of the fishes which they had taken. And so was also James, and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Fear not, from now on you shall catch men. And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all, and followed him. And it came to pass, when he was in a certain city, behold a man full of leprosy, who seeing Jesus fell on his face, and sought him, saying, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. And he put forth his hand, and touched him, saying, I will, be you clean. And immediately the leprosy departed from him. And he charged him to tell no man, but go, and show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing, according as Moses commanded, for a testimony to them. But so much the more went there a fame abroad of him, and great multitudes came together to hear, and to be healed by him of their infirmities. And he withdrew himself into the wilderness, and prayed. And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee, and Judea, and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And, behold, men brought in a bed a man which was taken with a palsy, and they sought means to bring him in, and to lay him before him. And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude, they went on the housetop, and let him down through the tiling with his couch into the middle before Jesus. And when he saw their faith, he said to him, Man, your sins are forgiven you. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this which speaks blasphemies? Who can forgive sins, but God alone? But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answering said to them, What reason you in your hearts? Whether is easier, to say, Your sins be forgiven you, or to say, Rise up and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins, he said to the sick of the palsy, I say to you, Arise, and take up your couch, and go into your house. And immediately he rose up before them, and took up that whereon he lay, and departed to his own house, glorifying God. And they were all amazed, and they glorified God, and were filled with fear, saying, We have seen strange things today. And after these things he went forth, and saw a publican, named Levi, sitting at the receipt of custom, and he said to him, Follow me. And he left all, rose up, and followed him. And Levi made him a great feast in his own house, and there was a great company of publicans and of others that sat down with them. But their scribes and Pharisees murmured against his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with publicans and sinners? And Jesus answering said to them, They that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And they said to him, Why do the disciples of John fast often, and make prayers, and likewise the disciples of the Pharisees, but your eat and drink? And he said to them, Can you make the children of the bridal chamber fast, while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come, when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. And he spoke also a parable to them, No man puts a piece of a new garment on an old, if otherwise, then both the new makes a rent, 
and the peace that was taken out of the new agrees not with the old. And no man puts new wine into old bottles, else the new wine will burst the bottles, and be spilled, and the bottles shall perish. But new wine must be put into new bottles, and both are preserved. No man also having drunk old wine straightway desires new, for he said, the old is better.